Ambulances taking almost four times longer than they should to reach seriously ill patients. 1,600 people waiting more than 12 hours in our A&E departments last month. It's what you might see in the worst of winters, but it's happening now, in the middle of summer, in Lincolnshire and East Yorkshire. East Midlands Ambulance Service didn't meet any targets in May. In June, those figures got even worse. And the hot weather's only making the situation more dire. There are a number of admissions into our acute hospital sites with dehydration, which is entirely preventable. Um, added to that, we have a number of COVID patients as well at the moment. And not only is it affecting patients, but it's also affecting our staffing levels as well. So it is almost a bit of a perfect storm at the minute. Our ambulance response times reflect just how much pressure NHS emergency services are under. Seriously ill patients, including those having strokes or suspected heart attacks, should be reached in 18 minutes. In the East Midlands, it took, on average, an hour and 11 minutes to reach those Category 2 calls. In Yorkshire, 43 minutes. For the most urgent calls, where the patient's not breathing or losing blood, both services missed the target. And for less urgent cases, the delays are huge. Instead of two hours, East Midlands took more than nine and a quarter hours to reach one in ten patients. Yorkshire, more than twice as long as it should. COVID, staff sickness, a pandemic backlog and the hot weather, creating demand never seen before in summer.